so two spheres colliding, um, lots of information shown in the diagram, and we want to find the magnitude of impulse on A. Now, we need to remember with this that the impulse is going to act along the line of the centres of the spheres. Uh, so it's going to be helpful to separate our um, speed into the two components, so along to along the line of centres and parallel to the line of centres. And we can do that for both of these. So this is going to be 3u cos alpha, if you measure that line up there, that would be the adjacent side. It's going to be 3u sine alpha. And then similarly for uh, the parts called B. Okay, then we want to uh, deal with the um, resolving along the line of centres. So if we look along the line of centres, we've got two things here. We've got the coefficient of restitution, which is a fifth, um, and we're going to do conservation of momentum. Uh, now, the one thing I haven't done, so this is before, is we're going to need an after picture. Now, all I actually care about at the moment with after is what's happening along the line of centres. And so let's not introduce more uh, variables than we need. So let's just call this one velocity of B and this is velocity of A. And that's only the components that are um, along the line of centres. So, um, right, so that means I can now write my equations. So the speed of separation is going to be VA plus VB and the speed of approach is going to be 3u cos alpha plus u cos beta. Now in the question we're given cos alpha and cos beta so we're able to simplify this equation and if you work through and simplify it you can get this down to be one third u is VA plus VB. Okay. So if you fully simplify that, that substitute those two values in. Um, we've also then got conservation of linear momentum. So in this direction, I'm going to take go from left to right to be the positive direction. So that means to start with, we've got particle A is M times 3U cos alpha. Now, particle B is travelling in the opposite direction, so that's going to be negative. So that's got mass 3m, and its speed is u cos beta. Okay, and afterwards, um, we're going to have, if you look at my after picture, so we've now got A travelling in the opposite direction, and B traveling in the positive direction. Remember, we know what cos alpha and cos beta are, so I can simplify this to negative u equals negative velocity of A plus the velocity of B. So if I solve equations one and two simultaneously, I get velocity of B is negative six u, velocity of A is a half u. Um, that just means my diagram was wrong, so actually um, particle b is moving that way, or sphere b is moving that way afterwards, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I actually don't need that anyway. So I want the magnitude of the impulse on A. So impulse is our change in momentum. Um, so for A, our impulse, right, so the mass is going to stay the same. So start with, um, along the lines of centres, we have our speed is 3u cos alpha. Afterwards, we change direction. So this is a um, plus a half u. So or minus, minus, um, so that make a positive half u. So that's m u times 3 over 2. Okay, and that is in terms of m and u, which is what they asked us to do. Right, 
Then in part B, we want to know the kinetic energy lost by A, and you've got to read the whole question. They want it as a fraction of its initial kinetic energy. Um, right, so remembering kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So our initial kinetic energy is a half, our mass is m. Now we need to use Pythagoras to get the um, the whole um, magnitude of our velocity. So that's going to be 3u cos alpha squared plus 3u sine alpha squared. And we can work all that out and simplify it, and you get 9 over 2 mu squared. Um, I also need my final kinetic energy. So that's a half m. Now we know that along the lines of centres, this is our um, VA there, so we had a half u squared. Now what happens is parallel to the lines of centres, there's no change in the component of velocity along here. So that means afterwards, we've still got 3u sine alpha going in that direction. And if you simplify that one, you should get to 33 over 6 mu squared. Then we need to make sure we're going to answer the question. So we need our kinetic energy lost. Okay, and then we need to write that as a fraction of the initial, which is what they asked us to do. Our initial kinetic energy was 9 over 2 mu squared. And so we get one twelfth is the final answer.